watching. Get started. Apply your base all over your eyelids. I'm using Paint Pot from MAC and I'm applying it with a concealer brush. At the end of your eye, create a line to show you not to pass that point. With this small flat brush, apply some of your base on your bottom and upper waterline. This will help to set your eyeliners. Now with the fluffy brush, add your highlight on your brow bone. Below that, I'm going to add a sand colored eyeshadow and it has some shimmer to it. Next, I'm going to be using a brown colored eyeshadow and I'm using Espresso for MAC. Tip number one, when you are blending, make sure to wipe off your brush. You don't want to create a different color of eyeshadow. You just want to blend them together so it looks like they flow all together in one. Now, curl your eyelashes. Tip number two, make sure your eyelash curler is clean. You don't want previous mascara to mark a line on your eyelid. Now, apply your mascara and I curl my eyelashes, then I apply mascara and then I let it set and then I do that same process again. Now, add a white eyeliner on your bottom waterline and a black on the top. Tip number three, if you want your eyes to look bigger, add white eyeliner. And if you want your eyes to look smaller, add black eyeliner to your eyes. I went ahead and I added my false eyelashes. I will also be doing a video how to apply your false lashes. Now, grab a liquid eyeliner and start from the inner and move out. You want to create a thin line and if you want to add more, you can go ahead and go on top of that layer. This is my version of a cat eye. At the end of it, it looks like a sideways water drop. Apply black pencil eyeliner on a small section below your bottom eyelashes, then add one coat of mascara. I know this seems a lot, but it's fairly easy. I just like to add double coats for mainly everything. Now, add your concealer under your eyes. Be gentle around your eye area. By, by pulling on your eyes, it can cause wrinkles. Go ahead and add your foundation. I went ahead and I did that. I added my foundation, my pressed powder, and added it with um, Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder from e.l.f. Apply your blush. I'm using Pinch Me for MAC. This color is not too dark or not too light. Apply it upwards and or circle motions. Now for the lips. You want to apply lip liner. This is going to be your base or your stain for your lips. Line it from the outer and move your way in. Make sure to fill in all of your lips. I'm using a bright red lip pencil, one that fairly matches my lipstick. Now this is 
all up to you. You don't have to use red for this look. Now apply your lipstick. I'm using You Say Tomato from MAC. Apply your lipstick with the lip brush. Tip number four. If you messed up, you can clean it up with some concealer. Well, this is the look. And there's the eyes and then the lips. I hope you like this.